Yo-ho! Here we go! Supernova's rule! Eh. Guys, look! It's the white dwarf! What's he doing here? Maybe he wants to have fun? Oh, I'll give him some fun! Watch, guys, it's gonna be a blast! Hey, what are you doing here? I, uh... The fact that you were once a cool supernova doesn't mean anything now, got it? But I just wanna have some fun. If you wanna have fun with us, you'll have to prove that you're worthy. I'm not sure I like this anymore. What are you doing? Drink, 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 drink. I can't believe it, he drank it up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> He's like, like, like a meteorite. Hey, anybody wanna play meteorite ball? G get lost. Uh, I'm not done yet. I, I think you're cool. I'll show you now. <laughs> it can talk. Hook it up. Hook it up. Drink, 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 drink. Drink! Hey guys, something's wrong here. Drink, 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 drink! More. I want more. Run faster! No! And that's how the black hole appeared. Who'll say what the moral of the story is? Um, maybe bigger doesn't mean better. No. The moral is, never bully nerds. Oh, come on! Earth, calm down! What's wrong with you? We were just joking! Get off, Melky! Come on, anyway, you know I'll catch you. I don't want to collide with you! Be careful over there! There's a supermassive black hole! Huh? Where? Damn, you played me like a fiddle! <laughs> Windy today. What the is going on here? <laughs> Apocalypse! Everyone, calm down. Nothing unusual. Just Andromeda finally bumped into the Milky Way. Nothing unusual. This is a galactic scale astonishment. It's the end for all of us. There is nothing of the sort. They'll just merge and become a new spherical shaped galaxy. The chance of something catastrophic happening is astronomically low. See? Is that the very incredibly unlikely event? Oh darn. <sighs> alright, it was nice knowing all of you. I love and forgive you all. Wait, wait, wait! What is happening? With a one in a billion chance when two black holes collide in the centers of galaxies, a so-called pulsar can form. It's like a black hole the size of a planet. But both galaxies are compressed in it. Can you imagine the density? So what? Aren't there many black holes in space? But the pulsar not only devours, but also emits light. It's the brightest of all existing stars. And right now all that energy is going to roast us. So we should panic? You can. The death ray doesn't care. <coughs> what a hear fun fact. Some believe that life on me began right after I got bathed in the pulsar's light. The beginning and the end. Why are you so calm? What does it matter? We'll all come back in the next episode as if nothing happened. Guys, Earth has completely lost it from fear. Apocalypse! <laughs> Ouch! Watch where you going? Oh, hi there, Pipsqueak. Sorry I didn't see you. You're the Pipsqueak here. Oh, I am the biggest in this system. Are you sure about that? Um, are you blind? It's just your scorching photosphere that makes you beg. I bet your core is tiny. Nonsense. I have a very impressive core. You're talking big game. But in fact, 
How about you shed that fiery photosphere and show us your true size? Why am I cringing while they make fools of themselves? Alright, that's it. Close your eyes. There's about to be a flare. Hmm? Oh, what are you up to? Well, there you go. I'm still the biggest. Okay, okay you're, you're right. right. Fine. Ah, my eyes! I'm blinded! Ah, what was that? Did we forget to warn Pluto again? He's always the last to catch on. That's not true. I was the first. Don't hold your breath. I was the first. I even have souvenir coins left. What's the argument about? First about value, then about size, now about the universe. The first space deal was made by Anton Crail in 2014. He exchanged dollars for sterlings. Don't involve me in your financial quotes. That was a currency transaction, and there hadn't been any deals in space yet. No way. I remember it for sure. Come on, it's not a big deal, right? Let's just forget about it. Is that a rocket behind you? Out of the way! Uh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Earth, you've got some balls falling out. Out of the way! Hey, you, sell me the rock. No, sell it to me. Why the elephant? Look at him. Huh? Earth, it's talking! Who are you guys? Now time to explain. Who is the richest around here? <laughs> Try and guess. There, he's glowing with helium. Oh, look at these fascinating planets! We are not... Hey, do you want to make some money, huh? How's that? Here! <laughs> Such papers will burn quickly! No energy! However... Let me see that green one over there. Uh, dollar, why is your bill radioactive? Oh, this. It's also a souvenir. How did you even... Know? Okay, I'll take this one, thank you. Hey, wait! What's in it for me? What's in it for you? To make a deal happen, you have to give something in return. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I know. Take the flash. Hey, wait, what's this? Ah! Screw this space deals. You know? Oh, you really don't know anything. Being so brilliant is so exhausting. Sometimes you just want to be, well, you know. Inconspicuous, unremarkable, dull. Oh, just like Jupiter. Look at him. Absolutely plain. A big as nobody. Yeah, he could use a little self improvement. Uh huh. We're almost the same age, and I know for sure. He's always been like that. You know what else? Can you imagine? He once wanted to become a star, too. Him. But apparently, once he found out how much effort it would take, he immediately dropped the idea. Listen, you're behaving like pigs. Your earthly terms again. I don't even want to hear them. Just so you know, Jupiter, even though not a star, also shines. It's the third brightest in my night sky. And in those distant places of the galaxy where you, my arrogant son, are too lazy to shine, Jupiter's practically the main source of light there. Wow, I didn't know that. Saturn, did you know? Your neighbors, after all. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, you can't throw the ball out of the rings, so those folks really don't get much light from you. Seems like you're losing track, Earth. Who is everyone revolving around? I have a whopping nine satellites. Not like some others, right, Earth? <sighs> Only nine? I have 83. And your beloved Jupiter, by my recent count, 95. So stop spilling the tea on him. Earth, your Earthisms are seriously getting on my nerves. But how? Darn it, it turns out that we are the losers. What his secret? He's just a dim-witted lazy ball of gas. Literally a floating fart, the apogee of uncoolness. Oh, you said you didn't like Earthisms. It's simple. Unlike you, my arrogant ones, Jupiter is truly a good guy. Maybe he's not as bright and not as athletic and doesn't set goals for himself, but he values everyone around him. There's your answer. Son, your pride will be your downfall someday. And yours someday will be me. Another brilliant day. Hmm? Strange. I feel 
No, I'm almost certain that I used to shine brighter. Am I aging? No, 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 that can't be. I'm the sun, after all. I'm always bright and beautiful. Oh, Earth, please, Tao, don't you think I... Um, well, damned a bit. Maybe there is some cosmic face cream that you know of. Uh, do you really want to know my opinion? Despite me always telling you that you're getting uppity for no reason. You're just jealous, but I understand you, so it's all good. Oh, well, in that case, honestly, you're not even the brightest star in our galaxy. What? Yep, if you look closely, way over there, see that handsome fellow? That's serious, and it's 22 and a half times brighter than you. This can't be. Oh, horror. It seems I should start looking for retirement homes for aging stars. <laughs> That's nothing. Ever heard of quasars? Quay what? Quasars. They're also called universe lighthouses. They form when two galaxies, the size of the Milky Way, collide with each other. As a result, a supermassive black hole consumes all the stars in both galaxies, and its magnetic field creates a bright glow. Oh, a glow? How bright is it? Are you really interested? Yes! You absolutely, positively want to know? Yeah! Quasars are 600 trillion times brighter than you! Oh my goodness! Yep, that's right. Like I said before, you need to be more humble, son. So it means the brightness of all objects in the universe is measured by me? What? I didn't... Yes, exactly! I'm not the brightest, but I'm the only one worthy of being the unit of measurement for the brightness of all objects in the observable universe! Thanks, Earth! I never realized how important I am! Hey, Mars! Did you know that? Uh... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.